Hi, it's Neil McGovern here. Um, today I'd just like to recommend you a particular book to practice. And now this is a method book really by Jean-Marie Londex. It has a fantastically interesting title, Playing the Saxophone, and it's book number two. Book number one, book number three, I feel are not so useful. But this second book has so many fantastic exercises in it. And like I said, it doesn't matter what your level is, you can really use it to help you improve your technique. Now, the, the style of it is somewhat antiquated. I mean, Jean-Marie Londex is still living and, you know, obviously a fantastic, was had a fantastic career as a performer and a notable teacher. He taught Marie Bernadette Charrier, he taught Ria Noda, he had the Denisov Sonata written for him. So he's a significant figure in the saxophone world, certainly. Um, anyway, there's, I want to, I'll, I'm going to read you story time. One very short extract from the book. At the beginning it says uh, how to practice these exercises which are contained in the method. And it says, the musical texts must be played to your teacher with intelligence and sensitivity and without the least fault or nervousness, which, is a, which always makes me laugh a little bit. Um, but it, it's a fantastic book. The, the way it works, every lesson, and it's sort of arranged in sort of single page lessons, you have some exercises at the top and then a little piece at the bottom. The exercises at the top are the most interesting thing really, because they really just get into one little technical problem like this one here, where it's just going from C to D. So obviously that's crossing the break from the low register to the high register. And you use these to try and blend your sound between the registers. So I'll just give you a little example of what I might do with this. If I was gonna practice this exercise, I take the, I tune up first and warm up, but then, I, I mean, I might be using this as part of a warm up, but and the main thing is just to listen to what you're doing. So I'm going to play between C and D. And what I might do is just loop that round and round. And what I'm trying to do is listen to the sound, listen to the difference between that low register note and its sort of openness and brightness, and then the, um, the sort of more fuller, um, hollow sound of the D as you go up into the higher register and you're trying to blend them together a little bit. Um, I mean this is obviously ma mainly more from a sort of classical perspective of playing but I think it's still useful and the, the book is just, I mean there's 10 little exercises like that on the very first lesson. Every page has at least 10 of them actually and you, you know the, it, it says in the book it, the aim is not to do them really fast might be some benefit in doing them quickly, but it's it's actually just, they're, they're very clever. Uh, they're sort of disarmingly simple at first. If you're an experienced player, you may come to this book and go, oh, this is just, you know, I can already play between those two, two notes. What's the big deal? Actually, there's sometimes a, a little subtle problem. For example, the next one is um, going from high G sharp to high A. I think well that's not that hard but what one thing to notice about that is it's actually the uh, it's almost like a mini second break in the instrument where you're moving from the lower octave key to the higher octave key you can actually see that moving on my saxophone here um, so that's an interesting little trigger and, and sometimes there can be little hiccups in between those two notes many many other little examples and perhaps some more rhythmic things and little fingering problems but it's a fantastic book, and I, I, I feel like it's not really used very much these days. I don't see or hear many people using, but it, it is particularly good, I think, um, just, just for very little small chunks of practice. So and I really recommend it from really very beginner level right up to advanced stuff. I think it's, it's good. The third book doesn't seem to, if I remember correctly, the first and third books don't seem to cover I don't, don't seem to follow the same sort of format, really. But anyway, playing the saxophone, book two by Jean-Marie Londex. I've, I've used it for years, had it for years, used it with many of my pupils. I think it's really helpful. Um, actually, I found a lot of people really enjoy doing just a little short exercise like that. So that's just my book recommendation for the day. If you want to know more about me um, and lessons or performances, then please have a look at my website with the details below in the comment in the description box.